Good afternoon. I will be presenting to you the different operating systems used for desktop and smartphones. The first one is under the laptop or desktop, MS Windows. It is the most popular and familiar, familiar operating system on this list. From Windows 95 all the way to Windows 10. It has been the go-to operating software that is fueling the computing systems worldwide. A robust user interface which helps in easier navigation with a start menu on the left side by listing out options and representing applications. The second on the list is Ubuntu. It is a Linux-based OS that comes with everything that you are looking for in an operating system. It is perfect for organizations, schools, and home use. It is a free to download, use, and share, and that alone should be worth checking this app. It comes with a built-in firewall and virus protection software by making it the most secure OS around. The third one is Mac OS. It has been the staple of almost all Apple devices, as we can remember. It has evolved with time to include the features that first and foremost define innovation. In recent years, the Mac operating system have been completely free with the occasional free upgrade by its developers. For Apple users, there is no other option except the Mac OS. Continuity camera that scans or photographs a document nearby your iPhone and automatically appears on your map. Fedora. It is another Linux-based system which gives Ubuntu's open, open source features a run for the money. Fedora is reliable, user-friendly, and makes for a powerful operating system for any laptop and desktop computer. Fedora is the operating system that is for casual users and caters to students, hobbyists, and professionals working in corporate environments. A slick new user interface that allows the developers to focus on their code in GNOME 3 environment. Solaris. It is a Unix-based operating system which was originally developed by Sun Microsystems in the mid-90s. In 2010, it was renamed as Oracle Solaris after Oracle acquired Sun Microsystems. It is known for its scalability and several other features that made it possible, such as D-Trace, CFS, and Time Slider. It provides the most advanced security features in the world, such as process and user rights management, thereby allowing you to secure mission-critical data. Pre-BSD. As the name suggests, it's a free Unix-based open source software. It is compatible with a variety of platforms and mainly focuses on features such as speed and st stability. Uh, stability. The most fascinate, fascinating part about this software is its origin. It was built in the University of California by a large community. This is ideal for internet and intranet services and can handle large loads and manages memory efficiently to maintain good responses for multiple simultaneous users. Chrome OS. This is another Linux kernel based operating software that is designed by Google. As it is derived from the free Chromium OS, it uses the Google Chrome web browser as its principal user interface. 
This OS primarily supports web applications. An integrated media player that enables the users to play MP3s, view JPEGs, and handle other multimedia files while offline. CentOS. This is another community-driven, open-source free software that allows robust platform management. It is best for developers who are looking for an operating system that simply helps them to perform their coding tasks. That's not to say that it, is, it has nothing to offer those who simply want to use it for mundane purposes. It has advanced networking, capa a compatibility, and sec security features that are still missing in many OS today. Debian is again a Linux kernel-based free open source OS. It comes with over 59,000 packages and is a pre-compiled software bundled in a nice format. It is easy to install and offers a user-friendly interface. Again, it has an advanced networking, compatibility, and secure features which are still missing in many OS today. Debian. It is an open source operating system based on Debian stable branch. It features DDE, Debian desktop environment built in, a built on Qt. It has been praised for its beautiful aesthetics and very appealing interface. Home to custom tailored Debian's apps like, pro, like font installer, file manager, screenshot, Debian screen recorder, voice recorder, image, and movie, movie viewer. Windows is best for apps, gaming, browsing, while Mac OS is best for Apple exclusive apps. Ubuntu, best for open source downloading, APPS. In the other hand, Fedora is best for coding, corporate use, and FreeBSD is best for networking. Now let's go to the list of uh, mobile OS or smart, smartphones OS. Android OS. Most Android devices support NFC, which allows electronic devices to easily interact across short distances. The main aim here is to create a payment option that is simpler than carrying credit cards or cash. And while the market hasn't exploded as many experts had predicted, there may be an alternative in the works in the form of Bluetooth Low Energy or BME.